Oh my goodness, Sarah. We're off to the hospital to see about this baby. Dad, wait. Yeah? Can we pick up Jacob? Mm. Please? I guess. Okay. Okay, now we are ready to go. A full call later. Call later. Dad, wait, there's a little clinic there. Uh, well, I was thinking we could go to the hospital, not the clinic. Okay. Oh my gosh, look at the chaos around here. Yeah. Well, let's park away in this parking lot, Sarah. Okay. Alright, Sarah. You two have fun at your appointment. Let me know how it goes. You're not coming in, Dad? No, um, I'm going, we're going to go do something, okay? Call me when you're done. Bye. Okay. Oh my god. Hello there, how may I help you? Hi there, yes. Um, my girlfriend who is a teenager needs to get an ultrasound done today. Um, okay, what for? Um, I think I might be pregnant. Oh my goodness, okay. Do you guys have any family members accompanying you? Like maybe parents or... Both of my parents died, okay? Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Yeah, and I believe right here in this hospital, too. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Thanks. Anyways. So now your parents died and you're a teen mom. Wow. Yeah. Um, anyways. The doctor's in the room next to us already. Sarah, you may join us in here. Okay. And Jacob, you must wait out here. Why? I'm her girlfriend. I mean, I'm her boyfriend. I understand that, Jacob, but you need to wait out here. Yes, Jacob. It's hospital rules that the boyfriend, if you guys aren't legally married, the boyfriend has to wait out here. What kind of hospital is this? The very best, sir. Now please take a seat in our waiting room. Okay. Ugh. All right, Sarah. Let's see. How have you been? Oh, well, I found out just a few days ago that my boyfriend, that I'm pregnant. Oh my gosh. How do you feel about all this? Quite surprised, honestly, because I was not expecting to be a teen mom. That is right, Sarah. And you're only 18 years old, are you? Yeah, my 19th birthday is in January, so... <laughs> Yes, that is a very big celebration for you, dear. Oh my goodness. Yes? Oh, well, I mean, like, uh, it, like a lot must be going on for you, dear, because, I mean, you're, you're pregnant and your birthday is in January. You'll be 19, you're 18 right now. Yeah, and I finished high school. Oh, very nice. Are you do what are you doing now? Oh, I'm going off to college. I have a, I'm at least a year program, but now I don't know if I can take it if I'm having a baby in the middle of the year. Yeah, well, you might have to talk to your college professors and see if you can take their online classes. Yeah, but my program was required to be in class. But maybe you're right, I might have to do that. Now, Sarah, I am seeing a child in there. You are very early along still, so the baby won't be born for a long time still. Your due date will be in January, so January, um... I'm not saying a date. Actually, end of January, beginning of February, actually, of next year. Wow, really? Yeah. Between the um, 25th of January to 5th of February is when we're estimating your baby will be born. Oh my god. Yeah, so... That's right in the middle of the year, too. Yes, that is. So you'll be pregnant all through the rest of this year and into next year. Okay, so, do you have plans of what you're doing with your boyfriend? I mean, yeah, we're staying together, obviously, but, like, I don't know what we're supposed to do, like, where I'm gonna move, or any of that. Yes, that is a very big decision, dear. But yes, I'm seeing a healthy, happy baby. Okay, awesome. Due in Jan end of January, beginning of February of next year. Awesome, thank you very much. No problem. 
Well, Jacob, it's true, I am pregnant. Oh my gosh, Sarah. Yeah, so there's, the doctor said I'm due between the 1st, uh, the um, 25th of January to the 1st of February of next year. Why are they giving you 10 days estimate? Because we don't know, because sir, we don't know exactly when this child will be born, so we're giving you a rough estimate of when the pregnancy will be over. Oh, you forgot your person here. Thank you. So now that you're like in college, going to college now, what are we going to do about college, about you, about the baby, about us? I know there's a lot happening. I mean, I know you're not working, so maybe you could take maternity leave. Me take maternity leave, Sarah? Well, yeah, so I could still go to college. They, they sometimes do let the men take maternity leave. Yes, that's true. Like, you could do it from, like, February till, like, the f till, like, we could, like, split up. You could do the first four months. I could do the, I could do summer, and then if I go back to school, not September, then I could do the, um, then you could do the la that time, and then I could do it at Christmas, and whoa, whoa, whoa. You were talking a year to a year and a half away from now still, Sarah? That is so far. I know. Well, let's call your dad and go home. We can discuss all this later. Yes. Hop in. So, Sarah, how did it go? Ugh, dad, I'm pregnant. Really, Sarah? You never told me. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. Sorry, guys. That's just been a lot on my mind recently. I'm due... The doctor said I'm due between the 25th of January next year to the 5th of February. Oh my god, that's right in the middle of your college course. I know, so I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Well, yeah, I was still trying to figure that out, but yeah, it's gonna take a while. Alright, Jacob, here's your stop. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye. Well, now to tell my mom. Hey, mom. Jacob, hi. How did it go? Well, it's true, mom. She is pregnant. Oh, my God. I, I can't believe you, Jacob, getting her pregnant. Mom, I'm sorry. I did not mean for any of this to happen. I know, but oh, my God. How are we going to handle this, Jacob? Mom, I don't know. It's going to take... A lot, but the baby's due next year, though, between the 25th of January to 5th of February. Oh my god, Jacob. Oh my god! Well, my mom's reaction is per usual. Bye!